Welcome to Spring Training 2011. We are here at the ESPN Disney Wide World of Sports Complex as uh, the Hooks take on the AA affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. And joining me is Hooks President Ken Schramm. And Kenny, it's always nice to be able to share a word or two with you. And this, I know, brings back memories for you, having played professional ball for a long time, including many years in the big leagues. And you and I were chatting earlier. A lot of your spring trainings were spent in Arizona, but you had a few here in Florida with the Twins. Yeah, we did. In fact, we were in Orlando, uh, Tinker Field, uh, that area down by the old Tangerine Bowl with uh, all the years I was with Minnesota. Um, great place to have spring training. You know, Orlando's a great city. There's a lot going on. Uh, you know, and this facility over here, you know, we're at the uh, Atlanta's, you know, it's Wide World of Sports at Disney, and it's, this is first class. I mean, this place is, is fabulous. And, you know, the big league park here is, uh, is as good as uh, some major league fields. And these minor league, this is the first time I've been back here to these minor league mm -hmm. fields, and they're in great shape. We got the double-A game going on behind us. We got a triple-A game going on to the field uh, just behind Kenny. And then we got the big league ballpark behind the camera. And that big league ballpark is not just where the Braves play their spring training games, but there are a lot of events that take place at that park throughout the course of the year that Disney puts on things like celebrity softball games oh, and yeah. all, all kinds of stuff. There's always people here at this facility. There are a lot of college teams that come down here, and, and I know they have a spring break college tournament uh, we saw guys from Georgia Tech um, I'm trying to think of some of the other we saw clubs. Columbia in the Columbia airport is here yeah. uh, and so there are a lot of t college teams that come down and play and softball young you know young ladies come down and play mm -hmm. softball tournaments and mm -hmm. this is a great facility one thing and we've talked about this before when you come to spring training and especially when you start to see people from other organizations and today it's the Braves but you've got the Tigers you've got the Nationals that are in this area pretty closely you walked over here and immediately you bumped into to Leon Roberts it's something it doesn't matter where you go you're gonna bump into somebody you know you know what it, it, baseball is such a great fraternity and and there are so many guys you know I played long enough that uh, uh, guys you either played with or against and I happen to play with Leon in Toronto okay. uh, my gosh in the early 80s and he lives in Texas he lives in Fort Worth we caught up a little bit and talked about uh, he had a son that uh, had, had played and was a good player and he still may be playing mm -hmm. uh, so he asked about my boy and we talked about fishing and playing golf and and, you know, you catch up with all that important stuff. Right. And now with the game going on behind us, the Hooks are playing Atlanta's AA affiliate, the Mississippi Braves. Their manager's Rocket Wheeler. You know him. Rocket was uh, in the in the Blue Jays system when I was uh, over there as well. So, yeah, he and, he and I go way back. And every it's funny, you know, one of our, our hitting coach now is Johnny Moses. Right. And, you know, Johnny Mo and I played against each other for eight or nine years, but then we were in spring training together. Uh, both of our last years with uh, with Cleveland, uh -huh. so we had uh, we had a spring training together, and we caught up a little bit of last night talking about right. that. So we had a chance, those of us that are down here with the hooks, to catch up and, and to learn a little bit about our new coaching staff this year. We did that last night, but also yesterday, you had the opportunity to talk. Well, yesterday and today, with Fred Nelson, the new director of player development, and you also spent a little time with Astros owner Drayton McLean. Yeah, you know, Drayton came in the suite and visited with us all yesterday, and uh, he was asking about corporate. He, he loves Corpus. You know, he's, uh, he's got a lot of friends down there. He's really good friends with our mayor, you know, Joe Adami. And he asked about Joe. And uh, um, we didn't bring up the fact that he had promised us an exhibition game <laughs> next year. But I thought about it. But Reed said, ah, maybe not, maybe not right off. now. Let's Just hold on. Okay. All right. Um, but then, yeah, talking to Fred a little bit this morning about uh, the, some of the guys that he thinks will, will be in Corpus, um, he's excited. He thinks we're going to have a great club, and based on uh, you know some of the guys that uh, he named, I. I think we're going to be pretty good. You know, again, we had the opportunity to learn a little bit more about Tom Lawless, the new manager, Donnie Alexander, our new pitching coach, John Moses, you mentioned, our hitting coach, our new trainer, mm -hmm. Eric Montague. We've got a, a strength, strength and conditioning coach, coach new Q. guy, uh, Q, they Q. call him Quentin uh, Ebersol, I believe He's is his last big. name. He's, He's huge. Big. He's big. They better listen to him. That's and they better right. get strong. <laughs> but I don't know about you, but I got a very good vibe, a very good feeling after talking with all those guys last night. They are excited to come to Corpus. And, and you know, one of of the things that Tom said, he says, man, we're going to have fun. Mm -hmm. He says, our guys are going to love playing in Corpus. And, you know, the, the word's gotten out 
um, you know, how great our fans are, how great our ballpark is. So the new guys that are coming in have heard it, mm -hmm. you know, from the, the guys that have passed through Corpus now. And it's the same with the, with, with the coaching staff. You know, they've heard it, you know, from, from everybody that has, has been there previously. And uh, they know how, how much fun we have as an organization. And I think they're going to carry that onto the field. So I'm, I'm excited about the year. One final question. Obviously, we're standing in beautiful sunshine, blue skies. It's about 82, 84 degrees here. It's a wonderful day. This place really does sell itself. But if you had to tell folks that have never been to spring training one thing that would entice them to come to spring training and see these facilities, see the Osceola complex where the Astros train, the Disney ESPN complex here, there are other What would you tell them? There's some beautiful women running around. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, so there's and, another reason. Well, but yeah. the, the food, the restaurants are outstanding. Right. You know, if you have a chance to get out, there's some great golf courses. But the baseball, watching these young guys, you know, living a dream, trying to get to the big leagues, and you can see the hunger and the and the excitement. Um, you know, the the neat thing about spring training, every team here is in first place. Mm -hmm. You That's know, right. and 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 <laughs> you know, the the attitude is is one of excitement and and you can't wait to get the season started and for folks that haven't been to spring training i mean it is it's worth the trip it's uh well just ask michael coffin yeah. well you know he, this is his, his first, first his first his spring first training one. and he said he is now going to pay us to come back <laughs> so we'll remember that next year we most certainly will <laughs> sun fun and 2011's baseball season right around the corner. The hooks open up April the 7th in Tulsa. First home game April the 14th against those same Tulsa drillers. Kenny, thank you so much for you your bet. time. Always fun. All right.